Welcome to Two Mums and a Camera. We have, our cocktail today is a nice white wine, a nice Pinot Grigio, which is one of my favorites. And we put some strawberries in it. I love- Which makes it healthy. It, yes. I love having fruit in my white wine. It really makes it very summery and kind of fun. And if it's frozen fruit, like it what we have, it, it keeps it cold. Yay, so cheers yes. to that. So my sister has a really, incredible story time to tell you and I know that a lot of our viewers have expressed an interest in a story time Perfect. so this is a good one and you're not going to believe it it's quite unbelievable I was actually traumatized she's I've been traumatized a few times in her life but this I'm was a still one. traumatized over this one <laughs> but I feel like we've known each other long enough now we've done enough good videos that I can actually share this I'm ready <laughs> she's ready so it is a camping story time. Every year when my kids were young, we used to go uh, camping. Honestly, one weekend of the whole summer, we would meet um, other families that we went to school with and their kids, there were 12 kids. We would go for two nights. That's the only time I would go camping. And you had a good time. And I loved it. And I never understood that because I hate camping. But I feel like if, if there's a bug that's going to do something to somebody, it's gonna be me. I feel as though I'm almost targeted by wildlife. So what happened was we pull up to this camping site. The campsite was beautiful, but I noticed all these brown moths flying all now, over. Now, when you're talking moths, are you talking small moths? Because I mean, some no. moths are like fingernail size. No, 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 they were... They were like a good, chunky, chunky, fat, fat brown moth okay, no. flying through the yeah. trees. But you know, trying to be a good mom and got a good sport, I'm like, oh, look at the beautiful butterflies, children. That's butterflies. what I said. I called them Harry butterflies. Moths are I knew they weren't people. Butterflies. Have you ever seen a moth up close? They're not nice. So we set up and there's these things all over and I was a bit grossed out by them, but I was trying to be happy. So we have campfire that night. The next morning I come out and I see this globby white mound on the tent. I'm like, what is that? And it looked like some sort of a, a large egg sac overnight Alien? had developed on the tent. It was about an inch long. And then I noticed these white moths crawling all over the campsite. Oh my God, no. See that? And I'm like, people, I would have been gone. I'm like, I guess gone. that was from that. So I brushed it off Ugh. and we carry on the day. That night, I'm sitting by the campfire and I have my legs crossed. And for some reason, I just did this. And I feel a lump in my pants. Okay, so underneath your- Underneath oh. my pants, I feel a lump. <laughs> I now, how big was this lump? Like it was like chunky. It was chunky, oh. Nikki. I'm gonna throw up. I knew what it was, so I stood up, took my pants off at the campfire oh, because, in front of everybody. In front of everybody, all of my friends, husbands. I mean, I didn't care. Now, sure were you enough, wearing nice underwear at the time? I don't even know. It was dark. It was dark. But this is important. Sure <laughs> enough, there's this egg sac sack adhered to the inside of my pants. So gross. That is so gross. I was so upset by it. So then so the next day I am determined to figure out what this is. So I do some research. Turns out it's a gypsy moth. And the gypsy moth females are the white ones. They're hairy. I have pictures. Hold on. They're hairy. They do not fly. The brown ones that were flying around the campsite when we first got there are the males. And they mate and then the gypsy moth lays all these eggs all over the place. So you were in the middle of the, the mating zone. The mating you season. You were in their territory. Okay. Can we see this? That is a gypsy moth. It's hairy. It's white. That's the female. It's disgusting. Okay. It like literally, it's hairy. Okay, but this is it from the front. Now, this really disturbs me. I almost, I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. I'm sorry. Look at it. This was crawling around our campsite, Nikki. Oh, she looks evil. Yeah, okay. So what happened was, this is the gypsy moth life cycle. This is a bit of a science. Now this is a science show. <laughs> so I'm actually teaching somebody something now. So I'm gonna call you Bill Guy. Bill, Bill Nye. Bill Nye. <laughs> so it's not Bill Guy, I always thought it was Bill Guy. Oh the God, Nikki, guy. please. <laughs> so the egg sac is like eight to nine months of egg sac. And then, you know, it becomes like, I don't know what that is, a caterpillar, and then it goes into cocoon. And then I wanna, bring your attention to this area here. Because this area here, this is five to 10 days of gypsy moth <laughs> mating. This happened to be when I went camping. Okay. I go camping so, one weekend a year, and this was it. 
gypsy moth mating. So you Tell me. In there, it's, you know what it's like? It's kind of like going to like, you know, what, what are those places that they have like that I zone don't even where, know what you're going to say. I have no idea. You know they have those trips you could go on where there's like, it's all out. You experience mating and experience. All, the, all over the place. What are those hotels called? <laughs> you mean humans mating? No. Yes. You know what is it called? It's like um, there's resorts you can go to where it's like Anything all goes. out goes. And I've always thought to myself, that is just disgusting. Like, so that was going on in my camp. Right. So this was the moths version of that. When I told this story afterwards to some friends, some of the comments I got were, why did you go camping during the gypsy moth mating season? I'm like, who's to know? Right? I don't think they're on the calendar. Now, when exactly was that? Because I think our fans would probably would want to know. Like it's somewhere to know. between our July and like August. July and August. Yeah, but, but that's it depends. Not really no, because it depends on the amount of rainfall and everything else. But one of my hedonism. Hedonism. Yeah. That's, that's, the, that's the name of the resort. So this is hedonism for the for gypsy, gypsy moths. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you're insane. <laughs> anyway, one of my very good friends who's very earth mother, loves all nature, she's a vegetarian, she, you know, she says to me, Rochelle, you're just so nurturing and loving. You're you're like such a wonderful mother that the moth just felt comfortable <laughs> laying its egg sack in your pants. <laughs> I'm like, only you could put a positive spin on this. So I'm gonna show you something. Give me one second. No, no, we have more pictures. No, no more pictures. This is what I recommend, okay? When you go camping, when you go out in the woods, ticks are a really big thing right yes, now. Yes, they are. So this is what you need to do. I don't care what it looks like. You tuck your pants into some socks. Nikki, own it. This, I'm sorry, Shell, this, first of all, your leg looks three times the size. <laughs> but this is necessary, people, because ever since this happened to me, I will not be out at night with not with pants that aren't tucked into my socks. People laugh, I know. I know you laugh, but this is never, I was traumatized, so this was serious. And now we have ticks with Lyme disease yes, and everything else. Yes. So no rolling around in long grass. If you're going on a hike, tuck no your fooling socks around. In. No fooling around, young people. You go on a hike, you go there to hike. No doing anything you else. You don't sit down on long grass. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So that's it. I hope you've been entertained. So by here's, my gypsy here's moth. to the gypsy moth and their life cycle. Wear and, your socks. and wearing socks during camping. That was an awesome story. Shell? Cheers. Cheers to that. Mm -hmm.